In high school, I didn't even know what chemical engineering was. Basically, when I looked online, a lot of people said magic. I don't think a lot of people think of an engineer and see, oh, track athlete. There's no one person who's an engineer. We're so different. There's so many people who come through the engineering department and really just bring their own uniqueness to it. So I'm originally from Scranton, Arkansas, a um, very small town. My graduating class was actually 30. Grew up on a farm, and so I was always around machinery and equipment. And then also the science side, my mom was a biology teacher. And so I was drawn to the medical field right away. As a senior, I had no idea, honestly, what I wanted to do. At the beginning of high school on, I was like, I'm gonna do sports science, I'm gonna do kinesiology, like I'm an athlete, that's what I do. But then, I took the anatomy class and I came and saw the lab work and I was like, what do I have to do to be able to do this in a lab? Chemical engineering for me, I like the math and science so it's fit. I would never imagine I'd be basically changing the DNA in these cells to make them do things that I want. It's kind of this crazy idea. It's still, sometimes it's over my head still, but after you leave some of these classes, you look at the world and you're like, whoa, this is happening everywhere. The stuff I'm learning is happening everywhere and I would have never realized it until just now. <laughs> when I was looking at schools, I got in here and I decided to come out and visit and just see what the school had to offer. And from the moment I stepped on campus, um, it felt like home. I mean, CSU is just big school but doesn't feel too big and nice weather. Everyone's really chill all the time. You know, if you hear engineer, you think nerd. You think someone who has no social life, you know. They don't do anything but study the whole time. And that's completely false, and I'm the perfect example of that. I'm in a fraternity. I play intramural sports, mountain biking on the weekend, swimming, whatever it may be. There's some athletes that think, I don't have time to study. I have to work out all the time. But you don't have to just be stuck in a book all the time if you're doing a hard major. I want to be able to accomplish all of my dreams and goals, so I'm not going to stop and just be a jock when I can go ahead and be a biomedical engineering major. Why not? I think that's one trait that all of us engineers know and we have, is that we have a goal and we're going to work till we get it. Someone willing to put in the time worth the final product really strong math and science skills, and then also just be creative. You know, problem solving, what can you use to do that? Well, if you're not creative, then you're not going to be very good at it. Coming from Texas, I had tons of engineering options back home, but I think what's really unique is the fact that between the research, between just classes alone, I have so many hands-on opportunities, so many projects that I get to do, that I already feel like I'm an engineer in a sense. So since these are such small features. We're all working together to create a device to be used in our lab, and basically the best way to explain it is it's a body on a chip. We're going to be looking at how live tissues communicate with each other outside of the body and know what things might cause depression. Of all the things that you can do at CSU as an engineer, I mean in any major in general, is just get into research because it lets you take those skills that you're learning in the classroom and bring them to like real world application. And there's always that reward that you're finding something that maybe no one else has ever seen before. If you love where you're at, it's gonna make the school things so much easier. And so visiting campus is the only true way for you to know, you know, is this the right school for me? I don't think people realize how awesome it is. <laughs> you know, it just, you can look at as many pictures as you want, but it's not gonna do it justice until you come see it. The sounds, the smells, you know, the attitude of people. It's great. <laughs>